So you've been in Fiji for a few days at this point, and I'm sure that you have been scoping out your competition of the people around you, the people that you're going to play with. Who are you already getting some good vibes or some not so good vibes from in the preseason? You know, everybody's been asking me what's my thought on the competition. And I think like a 25 or a 20 year old me would have all these judgments and assumptions made. Yeah. But it's like, you know, some bird, I saw some person reading a book on astrophysics or whatever. And I'm like, they don't look like a physicist. <laughs> and then somebody else is playing a Game Boy, myself included. Uh -huh. And it's like, I don't, it's like, I can't. I can't read the surface level vibe mm. and I know there's part of me that wants to, but I'm also like reminding myself that like you can't judge a book by its cover. Right. And like, I don't want to go into this game with any assumptions or expectations mm. because I feel like when you set up those kind of things in life, you know, you get knocked down and hopefully yeah. you get up again and never get knocked out again. But, yeah, exactly. Uh, everyone seems to be pretty studious. Uh, they're, they're, everyone's into deep, deep thoughts, uh -huh. particularly the, the, this group, season 46, everyone's so young. I, I feel like maybe high school to just, you know, in, in, they're still under in, in undergrads, uh, 18 to maybe 22, yeah. my guess is right. And every, everyone's deep thinker, they're all like, oh, this generation kids, I'm telling you, <laughs> super smart. They're going to outwit, outplay, outlast. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so many, I mean, it's, it's so many people are just giving off really fun and magnetic energy is uh -huh. what I would say. It's like, even though people can't talk, it's like you can feel the charisma especially mm. you know from certain people it's like they just ooze it it's like give me some examples who who's who's sticking out here it's hard you know, obviously i don't i don't know names um so there's this one kind of taller he looks almost norwegian to me he's like scandinavian <laughs> like a kind of like a viking uh -huh. um and he's just got like a a big presence like mm -hmm. when he walks in the room big smile um pretty like athletic imposing guy like arms twice the size of mine <laughs> Um, so he's one, uh, there's this one woman, um, she's like, she's a black woman with, with braids and, um, she has some tattoos on her legs and she's just so, such good energy and good vibes. Um, and just, I don't know, just like a beautiful soul. But then it's like the same time as like, I can see, you know, I see her doing like little puzzle books. Like I know she's very smart mm -hmm. and she's probably got an incredible mind for the game and it's like a lot of dangerous players out here i'm really trying to tell myself don't don't let one of your impressions early on get in the way of you making an alliance makes like, sense i'm trying not to let those run too far um because it's like oh you know someone didn't pass me a fork you know when we were in the dinner <laughs> line it's like i'm not gonna like be like you're first out you know yeah. um so but you know you know you know, we'll see. We'll see when the game starts uh, more when who I click with and who I don't. There is an Indian guy mm -hmm. who has a short ponytail up top. This guy has been reading books about Gandhi. Interesting. I, so I know he's very peaceful. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's out here to... I'm not going to say people aren't out here to win the title of Soul Survivor, but he's out here for himself. He's mm -hmm. Gandhi. He's out here for the journey. If he's out on my beach, on my tribe, he is malleable. Mm -hmm. He is someone that I could easily work with. And uh, somebody else, there's this jacked football player. I know he plays football because I was watching him at the airport on his on his backpack. He's at Ole Miss football. So oh. He's strong, first of all. And, like, I'm super tall. But yeah. I, look at me. Like, we're the same, Mike. We're scrawny. <laughs> <laughs> we're, How dare you? <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're, we're not lifting blocks, man. So if I have someone who's like James from Micronesia, yeah. someone who's keeping the tribe strong, if I find a number one ally, I'm going to stick with them. I would love for him to be on my tribe. Not so good vibes is the people that remind me of myself the most. Interesting. Because I think I know I'm the biggest threat out here. Mm. I promise you. Every everybody watching the podcast, RHAP, comment down below right now your winner <laughs> pick because if it's not Jolinski, we're going to block it. <laughs> Jolinski, Chad, we're, we're, we got our bots in the chat. I am the person winning this game. I promise you that. So the people who remind me of myself. Uh, there's a girl who kind of looks like a younger version of Natalie. Uh, 
she gets good. And it's so weird. Like, how do you get good vibes? But you do. She seems to like, like find things that are funny, similar to what I do. Uh, the girl with red hair and tattoos. She seems pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I like the vibe she's given off. There was one girl that I wasn't quite sure about. And I feel bad talking about her, but it was only because she had sweatpants on that were in sync. And I don't, I, I'm not sure of all the in sync stuff, but it said like, no, no man, no cares. Mm. And so I'm like, I'm a man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I like that. Does that the, mean no cares? The, <laughs> right. Does that mean uh, it's, you don't want the men on the track? Like, so I was like, oh, I don't know about you. So keep an eye on her. But then I realized she's the only left-handed, per- other left-handed person that I've seen. So I'm like, maybe, you know, maybe I can overlook the the differences. And oh, make that's it interesting. Yeah. I mean, you can make bonds over the smallest it, things it, out here. Anything. Yeah. I, you know, we get onto a beach. I'm like, I got to find something to connect with you on. So that we're, hey, we're this or we're that. And so yeah. there's, a, there's a guy who... Uh, his bag was like a Team USA bag, mm. which is a weird flex. Like you couldn't have packed in something else. Like, wow. Well, yeah. what? So we just have to know that you're like really good at something. Right. We don't know what. Something that you were represented a country in some aspects. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, like on a global level. Yeah, like exactly. you are obviously good at something. We just have mm-hmm. to guess at what it is. And so, but uh, you know, that's the kind of like, so it's weird. Like that's threatening, but that's the kind of people I need there because when the, the open season starts, you know, there's like, mm-hmm. there's college athlete here, there's yeah. Team USA, whoever over here, you know, let's not look at Hunter. <laughs> I have a f- my eyes on a few people that I think that we would jive really well. That yeah, I was just- like, in my notebook, I pencil out best friends forever, question mark. <laughs> like, I am that psychotic person that's like, okay, this will be my friend. But again, we have to make sure that that person's on my tribe. And there's a few people that has been a little standoffish or just you know like very neutral okay. facial expressions yeah, and let, so let's get some descriptions here i want to hear i want to hear some of your future bffs to start oh yeah so we don't know their name of course but no one of them have like red hair lots of tattoos love her there's this guy he looked like thor <laughs> I, don't, I don't know you might see him um and then there's this other girl with like a colorful top and long braids. Like mm. those are the people that's been giving me like really good vibes. Nice. Like we can really vibe with. Um, and then there's a few people that are just like blank facial expressions. So I think it's just cause they don't want to give off too much and that's probably their gameplay, but we'll see. I've been taking very seriously this whole thing about not talking to people. And yeah. <laughs> sometimes I go like this when I walk by. Okay, there's a girl with red hair and she's covered in tattoos. Mm-hmm. I'm too indecisive to get a tattoo, so I'm like, that's really gutsy. But she was doing embroidery and I, I'm a crafter. I sewed this outfit. Oh my so, God, really? Yeah, it's like a fake jumpsuit. All right, come through Project Runway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so she looks cool, but I also feel like I'm not allowed to like make eyes at her. So. Mm-hmm. Well, what about on the other side of things? I know that, again, you're trying to keep your head down, but, like, is there anyone you've had experiences with out there that you're saying, like, if we're on the same beach, like... Oh, this- my God. I think the people that look really serious. Because mm. I feel like people that are very serious are, can be very put off by me. And I don't want to, you know... I don't want to piss people off right yeah. out of the gate. But sometimes I have that effect on people that take themselves seriously. The girl with the curly red hair, mm-hmm. she's cute. I just like her hair, I think. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's I'm imagining like from an occupational I'm perspective, the first thing you pay everyone. attention to, you know, <laughs> yeah. love like her split, hair. split ends can't work with you. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we didn't get a haircut before we went on TV. What happened here? <laughs> no, everyone's hair is actually in pretty good shape. For I now, must yeah, say. we are a beautiful cast. Like everyone is hot, so I'm like cool, <laughs> fitting right in. <laughs> so then let's talk about the other side yeah. of things. Who's who's not vibing with you right now? <sighs> you know, I'm really trying to not invest my energy in that thought because I know people are nervous and I know not everyone is going to be like, okay, I'm just trying not to p- place judgment. But if I was, if you were, here's the tea. Um, the woman who's like older with the dark hair, she's mm-hmm. tan with the like, oh, I'm sorry, okay. with the black hair mm-hmm. has not smiled at me one time interesting not once and i've tried (laughs) i've tried um so i'm hoping she's just like missing her kids or something Mm -hmm. i don't know and then there's one guy with like a shaved head who's tan Mm -hmm. not not a smiler interesting i value that in a person so yeah we're not just like smiling because jeff probes walked by like that's (laughs) fucking weird (laughs) okay there's one girl she reminds me of my best friend she's got braids 
really dark skin, and she is going to be my silly shield. I, ho- I You've hope, already got a silly shield yeah, in mind. I hope that she is on my tribe because... She seems even more rambunctious and friendly. You know, I caught her. I caught her vibe very quickly. Mm-hmm. But then I realized other people were catching her vibe, and I was like, "Oh wait, this is a situation where I have to keep." I wanted to be her friend, but now I need to keep my enemy closer because <laughs> I think she's. Honestly, I think she's the one to be. Wow, making yeah. that judgment from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. If people are not, uh, if people are not. What's the word I'm looking for? Careful enough. Careful. Savvy. Yeah. Well, well, let's go to the other side. Fill in the blank. (laughs) Talking about uh, possible enemies. Is there anyone that you're getting a not-so-good vibe from? There's a few people that I just haven't been able to read Mm. um, that have been very, you know, in a good way, you know, head down, just, you know, listening to their little music on their tape player or whatever. And I just, I can't get a read on them. So honestly, those are the people I kind of want to go to first so that, you know, interacting with them, I think I'll be able to get a good read. But there's no one I don't, honestly, that's what's so hard is there's no one that I'm like, oh, I don't like you. Yeah. You know, there's no one like that. I think it's going to be a great cast. Really fun. There's a guy, he's got two earrings Mm -hmm. and a little bit of a Jerry Seinfeld mullet. He's rocking it better than me, honestly. And I can't get a read on him, but he just seems, like, really focused. Mm. And going back to what I said about, you know, having an ally that, you know, is concentrated and, you know, doesn't self-sabotage, I feel like that guy might be it. I just have to get a read to know for sure. I have a couple, actually. There are... There's one... Do you want me to... Of course. No, please describe. Okay. There's a guy. um, He's got a beard. um, Scruffy beard. Um, maybe late twenties, early thirties, like most most people out here. Um, I don't know. I, I get a good vibe from him. He mm-hmm. definitely he makes good eye contact. He he has a very animated face. Um, I like him. There's another woman with she's taller than I am. Braids. She's got a nose ring, and she looks super strong. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I admire strength in a woman. And so I feel like if she were on my tribe, like I would go for her first. Mm-hmm. Um, then there are a couple other women that I have noticed that. You know, it's the ones that make eye contact with you. It's the ones that, like, look like they're engaged. Yeah. Those are the ones that, you know, I'd like to get to know. Now, let's go to the other side of the spectrum. Who's giving up some not-so-good vibes? Is there anyone who, if you're on a tribe with, you're saying, like, all right, well, I could act upon something that I was making eyes with the Ponderosa or lack thereof? Um, I would say that, in general, the ones that are not making eye contact. Okay. And there are some that yeah, just I was going to say, what, what proportion are not, are not making eyes at you? I would say there are two to three that okay. just don't make eye contact. I'm Interesting. Like, what are we here doing? Like, yeah. we should be sort of sending each other signals, you know, with our mm-hmm. eyes. I, I have a few picked out. Okay. Um, there are a few different people that seem like a really good person, like similar temperament. Maybe I see them reading. Maybe I don't. It's fine. Yeah, if, describe but, them to me. Yeah, like... Um, there's this one woman next to me, really cool freckles, mm-hmm. like, she seems like a very, like, similar pace type of person. Interesting. Similar, like, a guy with, like, a beard. I'm also looking for maybe people who wanted, like, initially pair together. Mm. So maybe a little bit more covert. The one that's kind of the big question mark is there's a woman on here who I swear, like, looks like my older sister and is, like, a <laughs> doppelganger. I, I don't know. I mean, that would be the ultimate twist if you found out, like, your older sister had come out to play and you don't even know it. Survive. <laughs> Surprise, it's not Survivor. It's like Ancestry 23. Yeah, exactly. This is blood versus water, but only for you. <laughs> <laughs> really, though? But, like, it is scary. Like, so far, like, everyone in the hotel has got it stuff at least once. So, like, someone's handed me her meals before. Like, she... The best way to describe her is she has the hair and the glasses, except her glasses are rainbow. I don't, you'll meet her. Yeah. It also helps that the first day we were both wearing a backward ball cap. Now, how about on the other side of yeah. things? Is there anyone that you're eyeballing and you're like... Listen, if I get on the beach with you, I'm writing your name down first chance I get. Yes, there is. I'm a judgy bitch. I know. (laughs) There there are a few, not a few, but there's one or two people who I'm like, I don't see you as maybe like someone who's really going to give it your all. Mm. And 
I truly like you should always keep your eye on the horizon. Mm -hmm. But the first part of the game is a group game. Right. The group will determine your fate more so than the individual. So I can see them maybe playing an individual game a little bit too early or too eager. And to me, that's a red flag on a tribe member. That's a red flag on an alliance member. That's a red flag on anyone on the beach. <laughs> yeah. Is there any descriptions you can give me of those types of people as well? Um, I'll say one, I can see like there's one woman absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Oh, okay. Yes. I don't know if like her and I might like necessarily get along. Just seems like different. Is that is that also the life. woman who looks like you? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> there's an absolute stunner out there. Is the one that looks exactly like me? <laughs> exactly. She's doing great in life. Love it. <laughs> Together. I'm getting a couple, you know, smiles, a mm. couple winks. I don't know if it's from the ladies or the guys, I won't say. But what I will say is I'm picking up on cues. I know within this group of 20, I know who eats first every time meal is served. I know he sleeps in his spare time. Mm. I know who has to snack. I know all those little things. I woke up yesterday and I saw two young ladies that had flowers in their hair. I haven't seen these flowers anywhere else. <laughs> All of a sudden, they got flowers. And I told myself, I said, if I wake up today and someone else have a flower outside of these two girls, I might be in trouble. Mm. Well, a new girl had a flower this morning. So I think they're sharing flowers. So there's some talking going on. But I understand that I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think we have another guy here from Mississippi. Oh, you think so? Because on his hat, it said FC. On his pants, it said FC with a like a cougar type thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In Mississippi, that's Farewell Christian. Oh, interesting. So he might be from Mississippi, and if that's true, ho, 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 that's all I need, baby. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, that's a good thing. It's a good thing. Oh, yeah. Us Mississippi folks, we stick together now. Interesting. Okay. We don't stick together. And as long as he understands that we're in it together, I lose to him. Mm -hmm. But I need him to understand that he can ha he have to lose to me too. You got your mission. And <laughs> there we go. There we go. And he's a physical threat. Mm -hmm. So we might click up and we might run the game from start to finish. I can tell you that there's already um, uh, two survivors that I've seen, two castaways that I've seen that really want to talk to me. I can tell. They're always looking at me. They're always watching what I'm doing. They're always – they're – they're studying me because they know that I can talk, mm -hmm. right? That's a gift and a curse because I, they're already, I know that there's one person here. Remember I told you I'm not the oldest, I'm not the youngest. I yeah. know that already. I can tell. And just because of the vibes, I'm just purely random speaking, being honest with you. That, there's one person here who I'm going to struggle the most with. Okay, give yes. me a description. Who is this? All right, so she's a, uh, she's a beautiful, mature woman. Uh -huh. And I can tell you that she knows... I have a feeling that she's been around in terms of like understanding personalities huh. and she, I have a feeling that she's going to be the hardest. I'm going to have to get her out immediately. She wants to connect with, I think some of the females Yeah. and I see the effort there. I see certain nuances, the looks, she won't make eye contact with me at all. Interesting. I noticed that. I, I actually, I tip my hat up to her <laughs> because I respect it. Mm -hmm. So she's going to be hard. There's another player. Um, another female that I think um, she is not make eye contact with anybody. Huh. Yes, she's hardcore. And I could tell you that it's not hardcore because of no eye contact. It's just she under, you can tell that she knows what she wants in this game. The others are trying to be nice in the yeah. beginning. Now that can change. But I can tell you that, remember I told you, if I can't build a relationship, I'm going to lose. Yeah. I have to build a relationship where it matters. So it's either I get her out mm -hmm. because I could not do it. Like when I go into the game immediately, if I can't build a relationship with her, I want her out. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Because she's that go. just means someone who's going to work against you. She's going to go where she's, she feels welcome. So then you mentioned a couple of people that you yes. felt were actively wanting to, to work with you. Can you describe those people to me? I'm super keen on that. There's another dude. Um, he's very tall. He's the tallest of the bunch. Uh huh. So he, he can't miss him. Yeah, I can tell he was a swimmer, or he does something in water, mm -hmm. because he's always wearing uh, a, a, like water gear, it's a salt life, everything. Either he lives by a beach, he looks like a swimmer. I used to swim. He, he something about him is very out there in terms of the water, right? Yeah. And he's always looking at me, giving me like he's trying to give me a thumbs up, and I can tell either a he wants to work, he wants to cook, mm -hmm. or he's pandering. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
This yeah. Is, this, is a, this is a tough one. I'm a vibe person. My Sodar is always looking for Sodar, things that are going up. 100%. That, that is incredible. She's a real thing. My Sodar <laughs> is like antenna that my feelers go at, and I'm like, what is that I smell? Like, oh, you flipped your hair a certain way. You're looking at me with a little side smile. Love it, love it. We're going to do that again later. We did it three times. Perfect. There's, um, it's just like... You'll know her when you see her. She's, like, so beautiful. She has, like, um, she was wearing, like, orange pants and, like, a cute little white, like, top. Mm. I vibe her so hard because we are always smiling at each other, which is really hard because we're really not supposed to be, like, letting each other in too much. Yeah. But I would totally align with her. Um, who else was I really feeling? Uh, there's this chick who's dressed so wildly. She came in with a fresh Prince of Bel Air shirt on the first day. <laughs> She's got like this headband around her head and glasses on and curly red hair. Really vibe her because like the first time I looked at her, she was like, you know, yeah. and I was like, oh yeah, you're my people. Like yeah. we, we we have a really hard time with poker faces, but we have to bring it in. Yeah, We're you're not trying. saying you'll home smell you later to her. No, 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 no. No, I mean, yeah. And then there's this black guy I can say that because I'm black he's got blonde braids he's amazing looking he is like so like giggly his skin is like porcelain and he's just like bumping listening to his own music in his head all the time like, I want to know I want to know what you're listening to yeah like, his I own need, I need to know that so yeah these are people I'm like sussing out and a lot of, I think everyone's just so beautiful so I just want to go oh my god you look so great oh my god tell me where you're from tell me about your whole life you know so I'm ready to do that you know I honestly am picking up good vibes from almost everyone I yeah. think everyone is excited to be here I think everyone is enthusiastic and I think everyone is ready to play this game uh, authentically as themselves as from what I can pick up mm. um, and I think naturally my eye kind of gravitates towards people that look like me. Right. And I'm like, do we share something? We, I, we clearly do. Uh, but do we share more past that? And that is curiosity spiking in me to be like, ha, huh, I wonder, uh, I, I just get good vibes. Um, there is a... I call her Little Shambo. There's one girl here. She has this headband wrapped around her head. And that's the only reason she reminds me of Shambo. And I don't. I get really good vibes from her. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what it is. Sometimes it, it is just a feeling you have. Of course. So uh, I, I get I get good vibes from, from Shambo. And then I get many other vibes from others. And I'm like, oh, I think you might be sneaky. Uh, yeah. I think. So there's a guy. Mm -hmm. um, kind of tall. Athletic looking. Dark skinned. Um, just something about him just feels like he's a competitor. Mm. Something about him feels like he's not going down without a fight or like, you know, just from looks, like he looks like a freaking action figure. Like, <laughs> and I, you're like, time to play with you. <laughs> if I'm going to war, I want him next to me. <laughs> Anybody who smiled at me mm. more than, you know, three times, good vibe. Uh, anything, some people have like left their glasses or like, uh, or, I don't know, something that's theirs, and I've given it back to them, like, I've gotten a good vibe just from giving them, you know, reminding them of what that is. Uh, is I think it's two other black guys out here. I'm getting a good vibe from them. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to just, I want to be able to represent something bigger than me if we're going to be on national TV. Mm. Um, and then other things I'm just, people are reading, honestly, Mike, I think that shit is fluff, like... You're showing your hand. You're talking about people who are reading books. Here. Yes, reading books in front of it. I know they say occupy your time, but I know now I know the t the five people who are going to be a beast at puzzles. Oh. So either you're going to be on my side, or I'm going to make sure you know I know who to watch out for. Yeah, because you've been reading puzzles since we left LA, or uh, people that uh, you know. And and the reading thing is like. Bro, if you don't know it by now, you're not going to get it in the next couple of days just because you, you know, you started reading. I don't read in front of people out here. I read in I read in my in my silo. Mm -hmm. uh, I read about emotional intelligence. I read uh, how to win friends and influence people. I, I keep that information to myself yeah. and I can execute when I get out there. <sighs> Like, yes, a few people, but, like, I don't know. Should I describe them Please, to you? Please, yes. Oh, there's one guy in particular. Like, I like to, I wrote him in my notes as Honest Abe. Like, he looks like Abraham Lincoln. Like, <laughs> I swear to God, I've seen him on my pennies. Like, I feel like I could trust him, you know? So, definitely looking to be my number one. <laughs> Maybe that was proper on his part. Like, grow out the Abe Lincoln beard. Everyone will trust me. Honestly, yeah. It's a smart strategy. Now, what about on the other side of Ooh. the penny? Is, uh, is there Are there other people 
that you are looking at right now and saying, like, if you wind up on the same tribe as me, worst case scenario. Yeah, I don't, like, I'm not gonna describe them, but, you know, I feel like some people have that, like, resting bitch face. I have the same thing, so I don't want to judge preemptively, but there are a few people who, you know, when I smile at them, they don't smile back, and that just rubs me the wrong way. 